And we're here at Black Hat 2017. We're here with John Bambanek from Fidelis Cybersecurity. And you, I'm told you're the manager of threat systems. That's correct. And also uh, a SANS ISC incident handler. That's correct. That's awesome. And you've chosen, John. How are you doing today, first of all? You I ready? am living the dream. Are you ready for trivia? You chose to do I, I, trivia. I, I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know if I'm ready for it, but, <laughs> you know, giddy up. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so, this is the history of malware all right. trivia. The Morris Worm was created by Robert T. Morris and spread rapidly throughout the world, becoming the first worm to spread extensively via the internet. Now you're wondering what the question's going to be. Okay. Because you probably knew all that information. In what year did the Morris Worm spread? 80? 1980? 80? 80? 81? No. What year? Oh, I thought you were going to keep incrementing until you oh, got yeah. it. It was 1988. 88. It was 1988. 12, 17. Oh, okay, yeah, I did okay. the math wrong in my so head. So yeah, are yeah, you yeah. ready for another Robert Morris question? Okay, sure. Uh, Robert Morris was tried and convicted under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Um, which was one of the first people to ever mm -hmm. um, do that for, or be convicted under that law. Uh, he was sentenced to three years probation, 400 hours of community service, and a fine of $10,050. What university did Robert work for at this time? I have no idea. Any guesses? I don't know, I want to say East Coast. It was East Coast, yeah. East Virginia, Coast is, Virginia Tech? It was not. It was Cornell, Cornell. University. Cornell. Okay, yeah. Yes. The Michelangelo virus was first discovered on February 4th, 1991 in Australia. It was, of course, designed to infect DOS systems and then infect the boot sector. Each year, the virus remained dormant until which day? This day is also the birthday of Renaissance artist Michelangelo, if yeah. that helps you. Uh, uh, no, not, not, <laughs> not even a little bit. Um, in like June sometime, it's like, it it like time scale of months. It's it March 6th. March, oh, March it's, 6th. All right, more, all right, a month and two days. John McAfee had been quoted by the media yeah. saying that five million computers were infected. People speculate whether that was inflated or not. In any I, case. Well, I, we always believe everything John McAfee says. This is true. The 1999 <laughs> malware, uh, 1999 malware such as the Happy 99 virus, the Melissa worm, and the CAC worm were released. They spread very quickly throughout Microsoft environments used by many internet users. The Melissa worm was different from other viruses mentioned because it infects a system using what mechanism? I really should not have done this. <laughs> um, Viruses still use this mechanism today. It's not a micro, it's a... Macro? Macro yeah, virus, macro. very yeah, good, yeah, John, yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm good with hints. There you go. <laughs> a computer worm written by Dutch programmer named Jan De Witt on February 2001 uh -huh. was designed to trick email users into opening a mail message purportedly containing a picture of a famous tennis player. Do you remember the name? of the tennis player. The subject line was here you have semicolon zero close parenthesis. Is, uh, Maria Sharpanova or something like that? Or is that that's too modern? No. Nope. No, I'm trying nope. to think, yeah. Kind of close. It yeah. was Anna. Oh, An Kornikova? Anna Kornikova, yeah, 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 very right, good yeah, job, right, very good. Go. In 2001, a worm spread by exploiting holes in both Sun Solaris and Microsoft IIS. To compromise the Solaris system, the worm takes advantage of a two-year-old buffer overflow in what program of Sun Solaris? Ah. It's also the name of the virus. Uh, I got nothing. You want a hint? This is yeah, give me a hint. my good with first hint. incident response I did while working for a university in 2001. It's probably it's, not much. No, that's, that's not. That's, that's, that, that was a horrible hint. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it ends in a D. What's the name? Like Damon. It's the name of like a Damon that yeah, would run well, on a, Yeah, okay. Like an admin Damon that would run on a Sun Solaris system. I, I have forgotten all Solaris stuff. <laughs> it is S Admin D. Okay. S Admin D. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Code Red was a computer worm observed on the internet on July 15, 2001. It attacked computers running Microsoft's IIS web server. Okay. It was first discovered by Mark Mayfrey and Ryan Permay. Mm -hmm. um, what vulnerability did it exploit? What was the technology in IIS that was it exploited? Was it directory traversal? No. Uh, no, no, you're thinking of a different one. Time, yeah. That was a different one. Yeah. That was, now you stumped me. What was that one? The directory traversal. Anyway. So we Nim, both was suck. That, no, was that Nim, <laughs> no, that was NIMDA. That was N NIMDA. NIMDA, okay. This is Code Red. Um, it's an extension to the Microsoft IIS information services. Vaguely ringing a bell, but I fascistly avoid all Microsoft admin products. So, so what do you, what do you, you don't use Microsoft? Well, no, I got a, I got a MacBook. Okay, I mean, I guess okay. I, 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 mean, I guess I got a, a Windows machine to infect with malware. I, you know, <laughs> and Macs don't get viruses, so that's well, fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, this was the Index Server I S okay, API okay, extension. All right, all right, all right. Index, yeah. yeah. All right. Why did they name it Code Red? It was it was like some. Mountain Dew knockoff drink? Yeah, okay. That, drink yeah. they were drinking. Yeah, 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 yes, yeah, yeah. Code okay, Red. Very yeah. good. I got one. You got one. Of, how many? Awesome. You, right. you should get this next one, too. All right. The Nimda worm was discovered and spreads through a variety of means, including vulnerabilities in Microsoft Windows and backdoors left by Code Red 2 and S Admin D. Where does the name come from? Nimda? Nimda. Admin? Yes, admin right. spelled backwards. Very good. Um, in 2010, industrial computer systems were the targets of the Stuxnet worm. This malicious tool targeted programmable logic controllers in order to control machinery on factory assembly lines. Where does it get its name? Good question. Yeah. The current name is derived from a combination of some keywords and software, dot stub in mrxnet.sys that okay, appear yeah, in yeah. the code. That is malware trivia. I suck. You're two out of ten. It's not, I mean, it's twenty <laughs> percent. It's yep. It sucks. It's I, okay I, though. I, we had fun though, yeah, John. That it, it just means I need to stop doing technical stuff and do <laughs> management. Right? It, that's it. My ship has sailed. You know what? If <laughs> you taking had, my keyboard away. If you had all the answers, you would be awesome in asking me all the questions. So. No, that's a fair point. <laughs> Thanks so much, John.